Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to brand new potential series here on the channel. This time we're taking a look at my time at Porsche, a sandbox farm crafting fighting mining simulator which is really close to Stardew Valley and also they are supposed to be releasing a brand new sequel to the game. So in the meantime, because the sequel is currently on Steam just in the early access, however, you aren't able to really purchase it or play it, we're going to take a look at this and see how things are going to work out. Now, this is my second attempt on trying to record this because unfortunately the capture card which I'm using is causing a whole lot of trouble with this game which is really ruining the experience and all I want to do is bring you quality content. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy the series and if you do so make sure to give the episode a like and let me know any tips or something which you would like to see in the game as I'm not that well versed in this game as for example in Stardew Valley or some of the other games which I cover on the channel so if you're new to the channel subscribe or check out the channel so you know what I'm currently up to and in the meantime let's start off a brand new game because unfortunately I cannot use the save file which I had prepared already so let's start off from the get-go I think I'll go talk with the research center first. So they might I'm, think of something. So I'm gonna go with the third voice option. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. Because I like it the they most. They might think of something. We're gonna go with our basic name. And we're gonna start changing a couple of things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, face type. We're gonna go with, let's go with this face. Uh, skin color, I think we are gonna go with this shade. When it comes to the upper face, I'm not really gonna do anything with these things. And the decorations, uh, I wanna go with the beard, but we are gonna adjust the length of it. And also, we're gonna change the color. And I need to go to the hair and change that. And I did find a haircut which resembles what I currently am rocking. So let's go with this thing. We're just gonna change the shade of the color. And I'm not really sure if I wanna have this like super long. So let's skip this like this and maybe keep a shorter ponytail. And what else? What else is there to be done? Maybe we can adjust the mustache mustache let's let's do that i did not see an option for me to like change my outfit right now so we're gonna stick with this basic setup and see how it goes and when it comes to me setting up my birthday we have four seasons we start off in the spring each season has 28 days uh so you have spring summer fall winter and well considering when i'm born i'm gonna go with the first day of winter it's not exactly accurate because winter can have multiple months in it but anyhow let's just confirm it and see how it goes hopefully this time the obs will be able to capture the game and i will not have any choppy game footage or split screen issues We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa! That looks beautiful! What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while? Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. 
Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Rich vocabulary on this one. And anyhow, on the lower part you can see that we have 110 HP, and there are some SP points, and in the upper left corner we can roll, we can move around, we can jump, and if I press the middle key on the mouse, we are running for an eternity. And the map is quite... it's extensive there's even a bus and everything and we're gonna play around and try to uncover more and more of the world eventually i'm not really sure how i'm gonna pace out the episodes as of yet as uh... and here we are your workshop this place sure has seen some wear and tear what do you think looks homely Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. So I'm not sure, as I was saying, how I will be setting up these episodes as, for example, in Stardew Valley, I do two days per episode. Here, it will depend on how much time it takes to get through one day and such. And of course, from your feedback too. So. Max, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm so sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I crafted things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your Pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. And so we can wake up inside oh, of our... My head hurts. Oh, I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through those cracks last night. In our lovely home, which really needs some serious fixing up. Makes you kind of wonder what the hell was our dad up to before we, uh, before he left. And so we will be able to decorate the interior, but of course we will be able to work with the exterior, which we will be able to keep on buying and expanding and therefore allowing us to craft more things. This is our basic workbench where we make our basic tools or cook some basic stuff. And this is actually the assembly station where we craft the more difficult recipes or the more complex recipes as you can see there is quite the variety of resources which we will be able to gather so we will have lots of fun with this but now let's go see what's in our mailbox from porsche times hello new subscriber this is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out to the on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street, Porsche Times second day of the summer or spring season whatever okay so 
If an item is having this sort of weird glossy shine to it, it means you can gather. So th these are your basic forageables. These vary from stone to these leaves to worms to all sorts of other stuff. And if you will want to go through some of these other resources, you will have to gather some different things or have access to some tools. There are some blueprints which you can lay down over here. So for example, this is a capture enclosure because these llamas over here will be able to eventually keep giving you wool, but right now they are sleeping. And because we do not have any sword or weapon of sorts, let's leave the butchering of the local fauna into like a later episode or a later stage of the episode. So we need to run to see Presley. And I can tell you right now, it took me years to learn the names in Stardew Valley. I am horrible with remembering names, so most likely what we're gonna utilize here are the in-game mechanics where the actual name is displayed above the individual. So at least I don't have to learn them or I will slightly cheat. Hard to tell right now. Okay, so there's a chest right in front of our home, so I want to go and grab whatever is inside because these chests are going to be eventually more and more difficult to come across. So now we have, for example, the battle gloves, which are going to allow us to fight everyone or everything a bit better. And of course, we have access to our inventory, which is a much bigger and much grandiose than when you start, for example, Stardew Valley. And you're going to hear that resemblance quite a lot from me. So anyhow, we can even go and oh, interact right with people. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. And by interacting with was them... a boring place compared to Atala. Why was I wrong? I love this place. You're going to be able to keep on increasing your friendship and such. You can keep giving them gifts and everything else. Are you new here? I'm Russo. Gail took care of me when no one else did. I have a life debt to him, so it's my honor to be his butler. Hi-o! You must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. Sure, we can. Dr. Zhu likes to ask me a lot of questions like, How did you learn to speak? What do you eat? Or where did that bruise come from? Let's go talk to Mars. Hey! Looks like a shirt. I can't wait for summer. Spring is too rainy. Oh, no, no, no. We want to talk to Lee. And you are? Oh, you must be the new build that the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have you ever heard of the story about the dancing robot? This happened several years ago in Ethia. A robot was found in the ruins and brought into town. The robot had only one leg. So it was balancing with its four arms. That's why it was called the dancing robot. Anyway, it later shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. It's a sad story. Yeah, that's quite the story to actually open up. And the funniest thing is, I feel like I'm Jesus because I'm walking on water. I'm not really sure if any of you share the same experience with me, but... I mean, we do have the look, so who knows, everything is possible, but let's go talk to Presley. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Well, good, good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. So this is why I was gathering the wood and the, the stone. 
because our first quest is to construct the two tools which we will be relying on quite a lot so let's go see if we have the necessary ingredients or if I'm gonna be forced to take even more stuff we have even a caterpillar now I'm not really sure because I haven't played this game for years Caterpillars are used to hey, help Jody. with fishing. You're the new builder, right? It's always nice to have more builders. Got some great catches today. I highly recommend the golden salmon. Fresh and delicious. Okay. We're gonna go and enter the workbench, and we're gonna go over here. And we should be able to craft what we need okay it looks like I need some more stone so let's go see if we can fetch some stone there should be stone all over this place but without the access to the pickaxe it's really a bit more difficult for us to gather this as a resource however once we gain access to for example like an axe we can go over here and where there is this bush we can start chopping it down and free up that space because currently we don't have as much of it we are able to buy these additional tiles of land but that will take some time so we're gonna not go too far ahead of ourselves let's go see if we can get that pickaxe and with that said i need to switch around some of these things So let's go see Presley, show them our axe, and then we're gonna get another task, and another one, and another one. Ah, excellent quality, nicely done, you can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You'll need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm, if I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. We're gonna have to run back to our farm and conduct another construction. And this one is gonna be a bit more trickier just due to the fact that we will be combining some different resources. But of course, I wanna start gathering experience leveling up this helps us with our stamina so the sp points most likely stand for stamina which i wasn't sure at the start so there you go just another proof that i haven't played this thing in ages Ooh, we are getting even marble nice so you never really know what you're gonna get there's even copper in this so awesome stuff and we're gonna have to go over here and so basically the instructions for this is go up to the assembly station podium open up this handbook and select the diagram once the framework of the item appears it can start placing the different parts to install a part i need to have the port in my hands i'll walk up to the framework at the highlighted location and press the left mouse button so what we need right now is turn for stone furnace and the assembly tutorial is with relevant part equipped aim at the silhouette and construction and press left mouse button so what we need to do is put the stone and put the wood over here we can put away the other resources for now and what will happen is with the selected wood i will start to place it you see that 10 pieces have disappeared and uh, now we need to craft a stone tool stone tool needs to be made over here and that is that is where is it where is the stone tool okay so stone tool is made over here so we're gonna craft that now we should have that selected 
and there it goes, our first stone furnace. So now we can run back to Presley again, there's gonna be lots of running back and forth, which is why I'm kind of annoyed about the fact that I have to redo this recording, but that's beside the fact. I'm gonna also probably switch other games which I was previously recording with Elgato because it just isn't working out, so hopefully the footage is gonna be nice and crispy and clean and in 1440p resolution, which would really make me happy. Great job. You pass. This is your builder license. Congratulations. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered, after which you can start taking regular commissions. Come back and talk with me after you register. So, these are the Commerce Commissions. Each of them have certain difficulty. They are shown with letters, so it goes like with grades. A is the best one or the most difficult one, and then you go B, C, D, etc. So, these which are currently on display are a bit easier to make, but even still, you have like five days to fulfill the commission, you can gain relationship, reputation point, experience, gold, and of course you need to make five wooden storages, so these can vary in their difficulty. But let's head outside and see if we can talk to the mayor to actually get our license officially green-litted so that we can start welcome, working. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder! I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? So we're gonna go with the Nubius Corp. So workshop is Nubius Corp, Builder Max, birthday, first of the fourth month and the registration happens on the second day nice name there your registration is complete thank you also we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while uh, they'll be announced through the mail try to make them if you can you don't want me being the only one there <laughs> Uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. So now we run back. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board, over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press! I've got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. 
Check out Pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. So, now we are able to start gathering commissions, but we should already have one. And gift exchange guidebook. Antoine is the person who's gonna pay us. I don't know if that's a chicken on that pillow, but it looks awesome. And here are workshop rankings. So this is Higgins workshop. He is at B level. He has yearly points of 5,250. Then there's Alan who's at C with 800. 25 and then there's tooth fairy factory with 291 neighbor wang with d and then there's nubius with us and we get monthly rewards based on our rank so this is one of those things which we're gonna of course try to get and see how well we do is there anything which we might be able to get anything hidden there's plenty of hidden stuff around the towns there's like a bunch of chests and such it's just a bit more trickier to of course find them and i'm not really sure how much wood or other resources will i require for the construction of the bridge so there's as i said lots of places where we can go there's isaac Hello. you're the new builder i suppose i hope you're wiser and more reasonable than the other builder in town I think he's a fool. Life is time, so enjoy your time in Portia, but don't waste mine. Okay. I don't think we can go on top of this. Uh, it would be fun, though, if we can slide down. Uh, these grapes doesn't seem to be ready to be harvested, so that's unfortunate. And the, you are able to climb on top of the roofs and, like, uncover chests hidden throughout Porsche like this and you will be able to get some decent stuff out of them like for example copper wire you would first require copper and only after that you would be able to make copper wire uh, now we have talisman I'm, I'm not really sure what talismans do anymore because I haven't played this thing in years so we're gonna have to uncover these things or you're gonna let me know through the comment section because I'm quite sure Many of you ran into the game or were wondering what the game is like, so maybe we'll, we will see together. There's another chest over here. Really? Okay, salad sauce. That sounds interesting. So, we're gonna see that certain tools only allow us to gather certain resources. If I would try to use the pickaxe on this thing, it shows me that I need a better rank of it, so we will need to upgrade these things. And I think like every day these resources are respawning, I'm not really sure at this point. But we should be able to gather these resources, we're definitely gonna require wood. And I need to keep a close eye on my energy levels, because I have only like 12 stamina points. And without having access to food... I don't really think I can eat the caterpillar in order to, you know, refill that bar. So at the start of the game, this is fairly similar to what you might experience in other uh, sandboxes. So lack of nutrition means you are fairly limited as to what you can do. And so we're going to see what can we do specifically. I'm going to try to put down... What did I do? Okay, so we're gonna put down the furnace and we can start crafting things. So for example, glass, stone bricks, which requires stone, copper ore or copper bar, bronze bar, charcoal. So there's like a lot of stuff and we need to fuel this thing. So 
we can put in like 20 pieces of wood and then we can make I don't know some charcoal or maybe some copper ore a copper bar really need to take a look at what needs to be uh, assembled for the purposes of us building a bridge so wooden bridge body bronze plate 5 cut with a civil cutter and we will require stone brick and stone and that's a lot of stone so it looks like 96 stone and 12 bricks or we will require 15 tin or 60 copper ore in order to make 15 bronze bars and those can be then cut into the five bronze plates so that's a lot of resources which we will need to gather up and we will require the civil cutter as well so we will require copper bars which means 12 copper ore for the stone to be made into four stone bricks lots of stuff that needs to be uh gathered can we make these one of these so now this is going to be taking time and you can have like multiple furnaces and multiple other uh, things like this working at the same time. I would really appreciate it if I can actually craft a freaking storage chest. Uh, hold on, what is this? A wooden bridge hat. Yeah, so wooden bridge body. So we're going to require this and we're going to require this. I'm not sure if we're not gonna actually require two of the wooden bridge heads. Trying to see if there is something grill. So this would allow us to cook meat. Water tank, this is fairly easy construction for a beginner builder. We would require lots of stone bricks and some wooden boards. And we require the civil cutter again for that. So items data, this is what you can do as of now and we can get all these things some of these are still locked so of course it's gonna take some time and I'm not really sure like there is some time limit by which you should be able to go to bed or should go to bed hey there haven't seen you around where are you from it's beautiful outside the town right little fellow So if people are rushing past the farm, of course, we're going to say hi. I don't know right now if I have any gold or any money. So our character, click to add skill points. Each skill has different maximum. Add five skill points to each level to unlock the next one. Final skill have stronger effects. So you have obviously options to build a character to your preference this is actually fun because it gives the game lots of replay value as you might have lots and lots of variety with this so right now uh we can go with one skill point intensive training uh evasiveness dash master of the axe master of the pickaxe lucky me uh, smooth talk chance to receive one additional friendship point so you can have like your social you can have your gathering you can have your fighting i think we would go with the experience gained right now because it might help us level up and then we're gonna go with the gatherer for the pickaxe and the axe and with the missions we need to build the bridge to the amber island and that is over here so we can go take a look over there uh i don't really know if i can put down like some sort of marker yeah we can with the right mouse button so we're gonna run down there obviously we cannot get yet to that new location and with the really small amount of stamina points i cannot really do that much and of course uh you can i think drown or something or it's not gonna let you go into the water i i don't know what's gonna happen but i i don't want to really risk it right now 
So this is the bridge which we need to build. And those crabs can then be uh, fought and so yeah. We would require a couple of things. There is also fishing involved in this game, but for that we require our fishing rod. And there is like a variety of enemies which you can run into. So for example, it looks like there's one crab over here. Or that's Ginger. Okay. You must be the new builder. It's so nice to meet you. Let's I'm pretend ginger. I did not call her a crab. You find her little town fitting. People in Porsche are all very simple and friendly folks. I really enjoy having a conversation with everyone. And I'm not really sure if you can have a spouse in this game right now. I, I really don't recall. So, fun stuff there. Fun stuff. These are some of the enemies which you can run into. Sea urchins. Then you have those crabs. Then you have the llamas. You have to be actually careful when you are battling them. Because they can fight back. So be careful. And I don't have any stamina points. So... Yeah. Unfortunately, we will be forced to go to sleep. Uh, also, fun thing. These trees which have these apples growing on them, they can be your source of food. Unfortunately, I haven't played the game for ages, so I totally forgot about it. Everything which is living here, like the ladybug and everything, is much higher level than we are. So let's just run back home. And we're gonna save up our progress, start off the next day, and see if with the limited uh, energy we are gonna be able to start working towards, uh, what is it, the bridge construction. Because right now I cannot even gather anything, so there's that. And because, of course, I, I do might have some wood. I, however, don't have the stamina to most likely fix up the floors in the house. And you can actually have multiple bars done at the same time, so eventually once you come to it, like, you will see more copper bars sitting over there, so it's, it's nice like that. Okay, so let's head inside, we're gonna put our license as the first piece of furniture somewhere. And we are gonna go and sleep. So let's wake this up. This house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Yeah, so we are not able to fix up the place yet. Uh, so let's fix up this. Yes. Uh, and for this we actually require 20 pieces of wood so we don't have as much we we require 30 wood just to fix up the floor so now the question is if those bushes and all the collectibles which we can forage are gonna be reset looks like we have another mail so from Antoine uh, hey builder at the end of the week we need qualified people to inspect these products to coordinate with this we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend but feel free to turn uh, them in Antoine Town Hall. Hello new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruined one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Porsche. And from Polly, hey new builder, I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. So, it is for this guy, 
I don't really know how many days we have to make it, but we will accept it. And from Civil Corpse, hi Builder, I just want to inform you that the Civil Corpse of Portia can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on your commission board in the Civil Corpse building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission. That's all Arlo. So that's all the mail which we have right now. So what can we do? Uh, we need wood, right? Uh, can we chop down this guy? So we are leveling up. So what I should do right now is go into our character and go for this skill to reduce the amount of stamina we are using while chopping down these bushes. So we require 30 wood just to fix up the interior. That is going to allow us to get more sleep. That is going to allow us to rest better. That is going to allow us to wake up the next morning with more energy. Okay, so what I wanted to do this time is try to gather up some of those damn pesky apples. So let's go take a look around some of these and see if we can actually find those apple orchards or those apple trees. And so that we might be able to gain some sort of energy out of them. Because I'm not really sure right now if the consumption of the snake berry will yield any result or how do i how do i consume this stuff um restores 10 hp yeah so that's not really what we need right now uh, what i need is something that is gonna give me something that's gonna give me actually stamina points so plant fiber will be useful too we have 84 uh, stamina points left. So let's go and kick. Kicking at least is not consuming as much energy. Come on, give me a freaking apple. Okay, there we go. There's that apple. So now the question is, uh, is the apple gonna... Restores 5 stamina. So, let's kick some stuff. Come on, you have plenty of those apples. Play nice. I'm actually wasting more energy than I'm gaining out of this. And none of them will actually attack unless we uh, attack them first. Let's go hey. interact with more people. So this is the local I'm doctor. I'm gathering. Sometimes I get a little surprised when a little bug falls from the tree leaves. I give them to as a gift. <laughs> Let's go talk to the big teddy bear over here. He's wearing his bathrobe. Oh, oh, oh. Papa bear. Oh, oh, oh. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna gather too many more apples right now, huh? That's most unfortunate, considering how many of them are on top of the goddamn tree. Come on! 52 stamina. This is killing me. I cannot be wasting my energy on this. So let's see if we can slay one of the colorful llamas. And if we do so, we will get meat or fur. Now, question is... Raw meat, uh, this gives us 10 HP, 1 stamina. Caterpillar defense, so we can equip one of those. And salad sauce, that's not going to help me right now too damn much. And here you can see the reason why I'm going to need, obviously, soon. Cost 400 gold to unlock row of inventory so we have 100 gold what i would like to see is the possibility to enter the town and maybe splurge on some supplies so there are plenty of shops uh like barber shop apparently 
Porsche Times, this is the newspaper, Best Brothers. Uh, this is the guy who wanted us to do something for him, that quest which he gave us. He looks like he is actually uh, right now only interested in selling us stuff, but uh, we can also sell stuff. I think what we need to do is like drag it over here. I'm not really sure if we can actually sell them, so let's not do that. And for different days, you will see also like differences of like what happens if you try to sell some of this stuff. Like market price is how much percent and so on and such. Let's go hey. talk to Carol. I'd love to visit the beach, but I'm too busy with the shop. See you. And Mars, we already talked with him. Total tools, so we can do stuff over here. Uh, you can see we can purchase actually resources and maybe we will be able to even sell some of them. I really need to learn how to sell these things. Okay, uh, 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 uh. free sap. I really need to learn or get some sort of food here or we are gonna be really screwed. Oh, we already talked to you. Okay. So there are some clothes here which you can purchase. Some of them look really awesome. And they add up to like a lovely set. And they might have some boosts and benefits for you. We will be eventually able to grow our own cotton to make the fiber and everything, so we should be okay with that. I really want to find... Okay, so this is a bakery, so I'm hoping... Hi, you are probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. So hopefully Martha my will be able to sell us some food. My pride and joy. Besides Toby, of course. So, let's see what Martha can offer to us. Uh, stamina plus 0.50 per second, last 40 seconds. So that's pretty damn decent. Then there is the Nori Burrito, that's for HP. And then there's Mushroom Crepe with Fruit Sauce. And so we're gonna go with the bread. And uh, we are gonna purchase two of those, if possible. So by doing so, we are spending majority of my money, which is not the best thing ever. Let's talk to uh, Sanwa. I heard about you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. So he's like one of the triplets, I think, or, or something weird like that. Alice? Hi. I haven't seen you around. You are? Do you see anything you like? All my flowers are freshly picked. Okay, and um, there seems to be something. So, Kiwa has hey a quest. There. I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. Chiwa, sorry. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> the fishing rod. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So by keeping an eye out on the map, you will be able to run into all these sorts of missions. Ooh, he's got a horse. That's so fancy. Why can't I have a horse? Hello. The Civil Corps serves the local federation. Flying Pigs is an exploration community organized by the commons. Goodbye. So there seems to be something. I'm not sure if the spacer is the thing. But anyhow... Maybe it's inside of Kiel's house. So it looks like Mayor Hello. has something. Meat and oh, greens. Right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. Oh, he's got a cute little piggy. Oh. Hi, little bud. So, I don't think we spoke to Gust. You're the new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat, tea, cake and all, but I'm busy. So, 
Good day. Well, at least we met him. Okay. So, let's leave. So now we have a couple of things which we can do. I would love to go into those mines. Uh, there's a bunch of stars flashing all over the screen, which probably rep represents all the NPCs which we can interact and be introduced to. Uh, so we have the copper blades, we have a build a bridge and make a fishing rod. Uh, there seems to be a clinic. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much the only doctor around here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have these as a welcome gift. Aww, thank you. Alice! Oh, who might you be? Bacteria spreads fast in this season. You gotta look after your personal hygiene. Okay, is she trying to tell me I'm smelly? That was weird interaction. Oh man, flying pig, civil corpse. I don't know if this is the entrance to just the civil corpse or where exactly is the uh, mine, but I would really love to enter it as it gives us, yeah, we need to become a friend with someone in order to enter their room. Uh, why is that so familiar? Anyone, anyone, Stark Valley? <coughs> Anyhow. Really nice, and this just shows you that you will be able to, like, have some sort of decorations in your own house once you make it nice and furbished. Sounds like school, actually. Okay, I would love to find the entry... Okay, so I think somewhere around here is the entry to one of the first dungeons or such. And the mining actually works pretty damn funny in here. The ruin is under inspection, no entry is permitted. So, uh, where can we actually find one of these? I totally forgot. I definitely know that this is like uh, abandoned ruin number one, uh, WoW Industries, Sewage Plant Ruins, and Tree Farm, Sophie's Ranch, uh, there's the bridge. Uh, so I don't know. We can do the meet and greet, and after that, we can run into our home and try to build the fishing rod, find one of the seven brothers. Oh my god. Can you imagine having seven guys as kids? All at once? Damn. Okay, what is over here? There's some sort of weird... Uh... Oh, okay, maybe this is the, yeah, this is the abandoned ruin. Hey there, first time ruin diving? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner, very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back, since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. The question is if we have the money in order to actually go in. Uh let's 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 go. Yeah, so we don't have the 80 gold. So we will need to start selling stuff or making stuff in order to do this. So let's go interact with me. Hello, new builder. That is who you are, right? I'm May. I work at the newspaper. See you around. There's that. And... Constructions. So we need to head inside. And this is... Welcome! If you're in need of a house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. 
So if you want to upgrade your home, you will be able to do this or you are able to build a coop, a shed, a stable and things like that. So pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. But right now we cannot really do just about anything. So still too early. And there's another pig, and Gus seems like one of the people who work here. So let's let them do their job. It's 16.58, and we still have quite a lot of people to run into. So, Django. Oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. And we get some juice. There's Toby. Did you just move here? Never seen you before. So there's that. And now we have more people to interact with. So we were already at the shops. But because I did not talk to Mayor before that and did not pick up the quest, it did not count. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Aw, thank you. And now we have to talk Welcome again to, to Carol. Welcome to town. Hope you have a wonderful time. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Now you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, though. Nice. Nice to have you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm gonna give you these for free as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. How can they run a business like this? But okay, I'm not gonna complain. Anyone else? Uh. Okay, so there's the farm. You can go to the farm. So let's run. And how can you call a jet pack an ancient relic? Seriously? It doesn't look like you have anything that comes even close to the jet pack technology in here. But then again, what the hell do I know? It's getting dark again, so you can see how easily the time can pass in this game. So if we interact with the people in the farm we should be able to complete this quest. I think there's a grandma over here who works inside of the shop. And you are able to sell and buy things and Hello, crops and seeds in the nice shop. Nice to meet you. If you have any need for food items or seeds, you come right on by, you hear? Let me give you something as a welcome gift. So we got milk, which is awesome. And now I'm, I'm kind of in a pickle because I'm really running out of space. And the next upgrade will cost me 400 uh, gold. So we really need to be careful with that. Okay, so we're gonna run to the farm and see if we can fix up at least the uh, floor. So let's switch the hardwoods with the regular wood. And I don't know if I can store stuff over here. Okay, apparently no. So let's start fixing stuff. There's 20 wood. 10 wood. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. I'm not really sure how that would affect everything, but uh, who am I to question an in-game mechanic? Oh, uh, what do we get out of a juice, though? Need to inspect that closely. So it gives us a nice buff, so let's not do that. Restore six stamina. That's pretty nice. Uh, we don't have, unfortunately, enough copper, I think, to make these things, so this is gonna be weird. Uh, 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 uh. 
practice sword. Light and durable, but with low damage, so this can be used obviously for fighting. Uh, bronze axe, bronze pickaxe, beginner fishing rod. We would need wild cocoon. Uh, I have no idea where to get this right now. Uh, mm, wooden basket, practical basket made of wood, can fit heavy items. Not really sure. Uh, Upgrade the work, of work table at A and G Constructions. So we need to get the wild cocoon in order to make stuff happen. Hmm? So what do we need in order to make the, the grind the, or the powder wheel? So for this we would require copper blade. From grinder, so we will require grinder apparently. We will require also more stuff. So old parts too. Uh, grinding stone too. That's made out of stone and copper bars. Awesome. So we are kind of stuck here with the crafting stuff, and I'm really stuck right now as to why the heck am I not able to build some sort of storage space. We can even have our own transport vehicle eventually, that's awesome. Grill would be nice, uh, this would be nice too, but we don't have any of these things. Uh, 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 uh. trying to figure out where I will be storing all this stuff because I cannot be running around with it. Stone bricks. We will require those. We will require also more copper bars. So let's keep making that and I don't know. I can gather as many resources as I potentially can right now. Try to chop down as many things as I can in order to have the resources necessary. Because you never know, we just did burn through quite a lot of resources. And if we need like 20 wood just to fuel the furnace alone, that that that's gonna be bad. So there's that. We're gonna require stone in order to make the bricks. I don't see any mineable stone right now over here, so that's no good. So maybe I can try to find more of the colorful llamas of the lower levels. And you have to be careful on how you battle the enemies because if you punch more of them, what can happen is that you will uh, engage more enemies and that's just never good. So let's go with this, apply that, and a new mission. So bridge to Amber Island, uh, copper blades, furniture maker. Polly has commissioned you to make some copper blades. You will need to assemble a grinder in your homestead to make them and the fishing rod. Oh, six days, six days, 14 hours and such. So we will need to find those damn cocoons. Do not have enough space. Yeah, that's that's kind of a problem, right? I really need to recall how the heck to make a chest or where to store my stuff, because this is bad. Right now, I'm not really that sure. This thing costs 1,500 gold. So that's quite a lot of cheddar. No more resources. Well, how can I store stuff in here? Because this seems like a chest. Newbie Scorp. What if I just decide to dump some of these things? Like tin ore? Ooh, we could have actually made something better out of that, huh? Uh let's let's abandon. The berries and 
let's see if we can pick up whatever was dropped from the small llama. Since now we have the space. If it's still here. Animal feces. So animal feces surprisingly can be used to make fertilizer for your crops when you get planters and that will allow you to keep the crops growing. So I'm not really sure if I remember correctly if you need to keep on uh, putting down more of the... more of the things in there. Okay, let's go with four. This is gonna be done by God knows when. We're gonna have to sleep and I need to find a cocoon or something. And I will need to sell stuff in order to make 80 uh, gold in order for me to gain entry to the mines. And I really need to do something with my storage space. Because this is not looking good right now. The bricks are still going, so that's nice. I'm really tempted to make this. Because if I do so, I should also be able to free up some space, maybe? Let's make this, 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 and this. And so yeah, this costs 400... And there's quite a lot of space which you can have. So that's awesome. Uh, character. These are so far the skills I have went into. Calendar. Really awesome if we would uh, start processing some of these things. So what is it that we need for the bridge no we require grinder first after grinder we require civil cutter and after that we can only start to focus on these things so we need to start off with the grinder for grinder we will require certain stuff so what is that certain stuff copper bar i don't know if we have three copper bars we have two freaking copper bars so i i cannot do that right now uh Old parts too, and I'm trying to focus my attention on some of the other location of the design in order to dump anything, but it doesn't seem to be working. That's most unfortunate. This is still being made, so there's nothing we can do right now. So we require 80 gold. I have four pieces of gold. So I can consider trying to sell some of these things. To see what am I going to be able to acquire in return for them. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's some pink cat. That's so cute. Okay, so uh, Django seems to be screwing around. So let him do what he's doing. And I'm kind of wondering where can I go in order to sell this stuff. So what do we have? Herbs. Plant fiber. Fiber cloth. Tin or stone. Marble will actually be losing money or something. And let's sell you some poop. And even worms. So 42 gold now. Alright, alright. If we would be able to sell more things, that would be just awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm not really crazy about losing money on these things. Okay, so you we require more units in order to sell them. Uh, so that's most unfortunate. What about wood? 62. So theoretically we can make money by selling wood. 
So we can go chop down some wood and try to sell that in order for us to gain access to the mine. If we gain access to the mine, we might theoretically be able to afford uh, to go in and start mining for resources, such as copper and such, which will allow us in return to uh, make those things which we will require. Also, those artifacts and those ancient parts and everything like that that's included in there. So I really need to make sure that I will gain access to the mines and we will be able to sell the fiber or the wood. So let's go ahead. We should try to gather up some stone too. And inside of the mines we are gonna consume the first uh, bread most likely in order to start regaining some of the uh, energy. I'm quite sure someone would tell you what to do exactly, but it's, it's not like I have as many hours in this game in Stardew Valley to walk you through like a perfect strong start. So if you have the advice and tips for me, I'm open for it in the comment section. That's what it is. Or that's why it is there for. Those are furnaces, like more, more advanced ones. You must be the competition. Whatever. The more the merrier. Bring it on. And so these are like the most advanced ones which you can get eventually. And they make like a whole lot of stuff. So let's see if we can actually sell the resources. Eighty-nine, ninety-two. So now we should be able to go into the mine. And I just need to get to the right location this time. So abandon ruins one. Let's take a shortcut through the fountain. And this should allow us to gain the entry. Yeah, I would like to pay for a weekly pass. So aim the reticle at the position you want to dig and then do whatever it is that you want to do. So now we have only the basic pickaxe. And you can see like the coloration of the um, surface here. You can actually dig yourself into quite the pickle, so don't start just digging in one spot because then you have to use the jetpack in order to get out of the trouble or the hole which you are able to dig for yourself. So it's a bit of a different thing, but it will allow you to gain entry to quite a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go a bit crazy here, try to gain as much copper as we can because theoretically what might work for us is trying to get another furnace and if we are able to smelt more bars after our visit like here, we're just gonna be able to get a whole lot more stuff out of this. So we are able to get sand, we're able to get stone, we're able to get a whole lot of stuff and most importantly we are able to gather experience right now. You can see we have already gathered like over 1700 of it so it's important for us to keep on coming here and then there are these relics or something which we are also able to uncover. I would really love to find those two, but uh, I'm not really sure at this point what it is that I am meant to do. Can we get up there? Uh, open close relic scanner. Okay. So, now we know that there's something and we need to dig in that direction. And this is how you can easily get in some serious pickles. Because if you dig yourself too deep in here... Where was that other one? So we were able to get Monument Model Piece 1. So let's see, 
soil will be used for farming too and it's these kinds of things that we will require so something which i can ditch would be nice uh oh so we have the old parts now awesome uh let's uh can we consume the juice So now we have the data disk. What is this? I'm not really sure. We will have to go through uh, what the data disks do. But they are important in order for us to like gain access to other tech and such. So it's 15 something something. Why am I not... I do not have enough space in my inventory, yeah. So you can see how creepy this can be if you get stuck like this. What I want to do right now is switch this and... We're gonna start regaining... Our... Points. I have consumed both bread loaves, so... Kind of a really risky strategy there so there are more of those relics we can take a look somewhere else maybe there is something else which we will be able to uncover besides copper I mean uh, something if we would be able to use something besides wood to uh, power the furnaces okay so there seems to be something over here so let's try to make our way down there. Do you have some space available? Looks like we have picked up another piece of the monument. I'm not really sure where to drop it off as of now. You can dig down through here. It will be something useful. So what is this? Another disc or what is it? Okay, what can I drop that I do not need as of now? Let's uh let's abandon the soil for now. High glass. Not sure. So I don't see too many relics right now. How much stamina we have left? The problem is with the space in our backpack, of course. What are these? I should go research center. I'm not really sure if we were gonna be able to use stuff at the uh, 6.30, but we can try. So, yeah, we don't have the space for this stuff anymore. And when we return, we're gonna see that this place has been kind of already tapped into, so you can reset it, but it, dang it costs money. I'm not really sure right now. So we can leave. And I don't recall right now what to do with the discs. So, research center. Uh, 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 uh. Research center is over there. So, we have to return the amazing jetpack, which would be really appreciated just about now. Did we level up? Uh, yes, we did. So. Let's go for more experience gain. Uh, it's better for us just due to the fact that at the start of the game, if you uh, boost your experience gained, it's, it's going to benefit you as if you do that later in the game, it doesn't have the same effect. That's Petra. What do we have here? A oh, data disk. You know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. 
We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Ooh, what did you bring me this time? Ah, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery machine in the research center to restore it to its original shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. So I'm not sure the research center is still open because the ladies have left the building. Yeah, so only till 6 and it's 8. So that's most unfortunate. Uh, we can consider selling some of this stuff till 6.30 till 7 so each shop has a different time my god this is gonna kill me there's a big question mark so where do we find it? is it inside? is it outside? Epi apartments okay where did I see the question mark? So, I, I don't think I can wake up the person, so let's not do that. And we have to consider the fact that we have only limited time to do some of these quests, such as the uh, basic... What is this phone? Yes, you. Wait, wait, don't hang up. I'm one of the markers for this world, I was the one that made grass grow. How are you enjoying your time in Portia? If you have questions or concerns, you can email us at... We're always open to criticism and praise. Mostly just praise. Let me tell you a secret. Somewhere in abandoned rooms, there is a secret room. It's really awesome. Yeah, you can actually find like secret rooms with really rare stuff. I do see this chest, but I have no idea how to get to it. right now and it's like 9 30 we should head back and see if we can actually make another furnace so let's retrieve and let's see if we can actually make the furnace so i need to equip the wood fudge i don't have any wood that's bad uh so i need to craft this thing and of course I don't have any space. Uh what is there that I can theoretically abandon? Oh, let's abandon these three. Stone stool, so we need to put that over here. And then some wood, huh? Uh if we can actually refuel. That would be awesome, but yeah, I totally forgot. We need wood for that, right? So let's go a bit crazy here. Demolish the local population of trees. With the remaining uh, stamina points. I'm gonna sacrifice the stone. Really need to get access to like the chests or something in order for me to store everything, or we are in some serious trouble. So we will require a lot of this in order to refuel and craft things. So if I have another furnace, uh. That would be awesome. Uh, of course not. Uh, 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 uh. Fuel. And we can even make bronze bars. We can make copper bars. 
Let's make 10. It's gonna take a whole lot of time because this is not the most efficient thing. Uh, let's let's dispose of these for now. I'm, I'm gonna regret it later, I'm quite sure about it, but whatever. Put down the second furnace and we can make uh, some bronze bars. Fuel. Craft. It's gonna take also a day point something. It's gonna be midnight soon. So let's head in. We're gonna sleep. And with that, I think we're gonna cut it off for the first episode. It's already long enough. We did Hi. cover the initial days. So you're the new builder in town. I heard you're from Barnarok. It's a lot more humid here in Portia. Have you got used to the humidity here? Well, that's all right. We have a recipe here to help cope with the humidity. Just use some milk, golden salmon, and salt to make the creamy salmon stew. Thank you, doctor. So, yeah, as I mentioned, the episode is already a bit long. So if you did like it and you want to see more, let me know. Likes, comments, all that stuff helps. If you have any tips for me, of course, do let me know. Are you looking forward to the sequel to the game? Let me know too. I'll be more than happy to read all about it. But for now, I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. For more fun content, check out the link in the description and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching and bye for now.